everyone and welcome back to my channel. Myself Dr. Surbisani, the host and the founder of the channel Dr. Surbisani Dental Series and Medical Videos. Today we are going to talk about something really important and the part of most interesting subject. Yes, and that is of oral surgery which you read in final year of dentistry. So without wasting time, let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe to my channel by pressing the button subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos. Today we are going to talk about the classification of TMJ disorders. Classification begin with the first two types. First one is the structural disorder of TMJ and second one is the functional disorder of TMJ. Structural disorder of TMJ is further divided into two types. One is the developmental disorder and the second one is the acquired disorder. If we talk about the developmental disorder, it is further divided into two types. One is the condylar hypoplasia and second one is the condylar hyperplasia. Condylar hypoplasia, the second type, is further divided into two parts. One is the hemimandibular elongation. That means the one side of the mandible is get elongated as compared to the other side of the mandible. And the second type in case of the condylar hyperplasia is the hemimandibular hyperplasia. In that there is the derangement and the elongation of the whole of the mandible which is at the symphysis. That means there is a hyperplasia involving the condyle, condylar neck, body, ramus of one side which give rise to the asymmetry of the mandible and it is up to the symphysis. So this is known as the hemimandibular hyperplasia. The second type which come under the category of structural disorder and that is acquired disorders. Acquired disorders are those disorders which we acquire throughout our life due to any cause, whether it's a foreign infection, foreign body particle or any other factor. So, acquired disorders include first, that is the traumatic arthritis, second, rheumatoid arthritis, third, osteoarthritis, fourth, Superative arthritis, fifth, psoriatic arthritis, sixth, infection from the tuberculosis or syphilis, seventh, gout, eighth, post traumatic ankylosis, ninth, internal derangement, tenth, ankylosis spondylitis, eleventh, tumor, which could be benign tumor or malignant tumor. If there is a malignant tumor, that could be osteosarcoma and talk about the benign tumor, then it could be para or juxta articular chondrosarcoma. Last type which come under the acquired disorder, that is the synovial cyst. Talk about the functional disorders of the TMJ. Then the functional disorder of TMJ include the first one is the MPDS that is myofascial pain dysfunction syndrome. Second one is it may cause the disorders which are occurring outside the joint structure. That means, and the third category is Jacob's disease which the last one is when the condyle get fused with the zygomatic arch or zygomatic process and that can lead to one main thing and that is crispus. So these four are come under the category of functional disorders of TMJ. So that's all about the classification of TMJ disorder. This question is very very important and this chapter is also very very important in oral surgery. 
definitely a long question may come on this topic so don't forget to learn this topic very well so that's all about the classification of tmj disorder thank you for watching